Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CB Nostalgia, and I have a little update on Loki. Well, there probably hasn't been a Disney Plus Marvel series more influential to the timeline, at least so far, than Loki. Obviously, WandaVision set up a lot of details for Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but that first season of Loki actually introduced these multiverse elements that are clearly driving the MCU through Phase 4. Now, last night, they had an upfront where Kevin Feige spoke a little bit about the show. Now, he did talk a little bit about the first season and dove into some specifics about the second season. Now, as far as that first season goes, Kevin Feige seemed to have a lot to say. First and foremost, he felt like it was a wild ride paid off, which makes a lot of sense considering he confirmed that the show was actually the most watched Marvel series on Disney+. This is a pretty big deal considering how wild of a departure it was, and is a testimony to how popular Tom Hiddleston's Loki really is. Now, we do know the second season of Loki is about to kick off production, and he did drop some news about that series. Now, before we break down the news, though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, the big giveaway. We're going to give away this Oculus Quest 2 at 50 thousand subscribers. All you need to do to get in on the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us a comment. Now, like I was saying, Kevin Feige was really hyping up how well the first season of Loki did. Sitting atop Marvel Studios' Disney Plus efforts and being the only show to get a second season, fans do have a couple of questions about what's going to happen. Now, some of the news he did bring up though was a pretty big deal. He did confirm Season 2 is scheduled to begin production in just a couple of weeks. This means we're likely to see the show sometime in 2023. He also actually confirmed that I quote, entire cast is set to return. Now, I wouldn't call this a massive surprise, but it is nice to have confirmation that the whole gang is back in action and we're going to see some of these characters from last year. Now, if you remember correctly, the season finale of Loki Season 1 ended with Sylvie, played by Sofia Di Martino, had completed her plan to kill Jonathan Major's He Who Remains. This effectively splintered the sacred timeline and caused the multiverse to be reborn in the process. Now, at the end of the series, we actually saw Loki return to the TVA, and although it looked very familiar, the series closed us out with the reveal that that reality was now ruled over by a Kang variant. Now we know Kang is going to be a big part of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, which is set to drop February 17th of next year, and I suspect that the second season of Loki will follow that a couple months later. If I'm making any predictions, I think this will likely be a June or July release. It really depends on how long the production schedule runs and how many episodes the upcoming season gets. If you're like me, I feel like some of these Marvel shows are cut short with just six episodes, and I totally would have been down for at least two more episodes of Loki before the show went to hiatus. Now, obviously, we're going to follow season two of Loki pretty closely. Now that expectations have been set, I don't think they're going to surprise us in the same ways they did with season one, or even tease us with things like D.B. Cooper that got our minds reeling, but obviously, the show is a big success, and I think they're going to continue to hit us with some surprises. Once we get more details about Season 2 of Loki, we're obviously going to bring it to you right away. But until then, I gotta know what you guys think. Are you surprised? Season 1 of Loki is Marvel Studios' most streamed Disney Plus series. And how do you feel about the entire cast making a return for Season 2? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.